Hello, I'm Yoon, a tour guide. Today, I will introduce Gyeonggi-gung Palace, which is the most damaged among the five palaces of Joseon Dynasty, and is being forgotten in people's memory. Gyeonggi-gung Palace is located in Jongno-gu, Seoul. This palace was built by King Gwangye-gun in 1623. When Gyeonggi-gung Palace was first built, it was a large palace and was loved by many kings with more than 100 buildings. However, in the early 20th century, Korea was ruled by Japan, and most of the buildings in Gyeonggi-gung Palace were destroyed by Japan. Currently, Gyeonggi-gung Palace has been transformed into a shabby palace with only three buildings. This is Sungjongjeon Hall, the main hall of Gyeonggi-gung Palace. Important royal events used to be held here. In fact, this building was newly constructed in the 1980s, and the original Sungjeonjeon Hall building was moved to Dongguk University, 3.5 km away from here. The Japanese dismantled the Sungjeonjeon building and moved it there, and they used the building as a Buddhist sanctum. Their idea of moving a building 3.5 kilometers away rather than building a new one is surprising. This Taryeongjeon Hall enshrines the portrait of King Yongjo, who loved Gyeonggi-gung Palace the most. Although he was a heartless father, who killed his son, Prince Sado. However, he tried to meditate the partisan strife of his subjects and tried to reduce the excessive taxes imposed on the people. He was a frugal and warm-hearted king who loved the people with all his heart. If you want to know why King Yongjo killed his son, Prince Sado, Please refer to the story of Suonasong Fortress. This was the king's office, Jajongjeon Hall. Here, king and servants used to deal with affairs of state. Although the exterior of the building has been restored, the interior has not been restored yet, so it is empty. It is the place where Several kings and their subjects stayed for hundreds of years, but now there is no trace of them, giving off a lonely atmosphere. Most of the buildings in Gyeonggi-gung Palace were demolished during Japanese colonial period, and even the remaining buildings were newly constructed by the Gyeonggi-gung Palace restoration project, which began in the 1980s, and the project is still in progress. No one knows when Gyeonggi-gung Palace will be fully restored, it even seems impossible. However, Gyeonggi-gung Palace is now showing how the tragedy of losing the country is. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget subscribe and like. Have a nice time.